So, the CT cards I'm taking, and we'll do, we'll make sure that we get answers to you on this. So it sounds like for CT, for CT, there's a lot of questions about single versus multi-slice CT. Part of the reason you didn't touch on it is because we only do multi-slice now. Yeah, I know. It's better. So let's talk about the basic fundamentals of the difference between single and multi-slice. And again, we're not going to get too in-depth yeah. on CT today, but we'll, we'll take a little bit of time here to talk about it. So what does multi-slice mean? It has more than one row of detectors. Okay. Can it range? Mm -hmm. Is it can range? The range of number yeah. of detectors? Yes. Yep. Okay, so when we talk about multiple slices, it means it's giving us more information per rotation. Right, so instead of one row of detectors, you have four, five, six, seven, depends on how big your detector is, but as it goes around, you get more information. Okay, so let's talk about um, multi-slice detector and pitch. What's okay. pitch? Which is the, like, the thickness of like, the... Yeah, like if there's a gap or no gap. So we're talking rotation, okay. yeah. right? The distance between the rotations. So um, it's like a streamer. If you if your pitch is larger or greater, is how long far it goes. Like, tell me what the relation is. What's a pitch of one? They're right next to each other. So this one's going around, and then it's come back and starts right where the last one ended, right? What's ideal for pitch? A little bit less than one. You want a little bit of overlap um, because when you're starting to reconstruct and put both of those together, maybe a little bit artifact. So usually it's like 0.984, I think. I don't know why I remember that number, but that's usually what we use for yeah. pitch. Is that okay for single multi-slice? We use multi-slice now.